we're ready for the pentagram. Um, I'm going to lay some tracing paper over top of a, a circle I've already created and I've I've drawn this circus circle with a little bit of purpose in here such that I've aligned the bottom tangent with the bottom of this square and the top of it through here and then I've aligned the right tangent to point to um, the element above and this just really helps with creating a very organized layout so really encourage you to think about that as well so having drawn that I'm now just going to uh, put some tracing paper over top just to demonstrate how we construct this pentagram. And I'm going to do this freehand first, and then we're going to draft it. So here we have our circle to begin with. What I want to do is, here's our crosshairs right here on this circle. And I need to bisect this point here. We'll call this point zero. We'll call this A, and we'll call this B and I need to bisect that line right there. So I'm going to take my 45 degree triangle and I'll run it like so and at that point where it hit this diagonal through here automatically it becomes the bisecting point for that line. In other words I've divided this line in half by using my 45 degree triangle. You've done that miles and miles. So once I've got that point there it forms an, an interesting radius that I'm going to need right now. So I'm going to put my compass point on that point there to there and then I will swing it around so there's my radius and I'll swing it around that nice little arc there and it forms another point. It's odd. It's way out here. I'm going to call that point C. So point C is very important and I'm going to now take my compass point, plunk it here and stretch out the compass point to this radius right here and it's going to be arced and it's going to hit the circle right there so we're going to call that D. We're going to draw a line D down to this point right here and then we're going to take a radius point we'll call this guy E. So this point here take your compass point and plunk it there so my point is here my pencils here and I'm going to draw that arc down to here. And that becomes E, this becomes F. All right, so F is important. I'm going to put my compass point back on this point A here. I'll stretch out my compass to here and I'm going to swing it, my compass upward, and lo and behold, finally, I get my first point on the pentagram. And that arc will carry down all the way through there. And it should be straight across if I've drawn my constructions uh, correctly. So this becomes point number one. This becomes point number two. So I'll connect those points like so. Over here, when that arc continues over here, this is point number three. So just draw a connecting line to there. Okay, so now we need to find this point here and carry it across to there. So what I'm going to do now is take the radius measurement. It's only a measurement from here to point F. So this line right here and then transfer it down to here. So that same measurement will come down here. Let's say it ends up right about there. And now I'll swing my compass point down to that circle and around to that circle and I will end up with point number four and point number five. Now there are easier ways to build this for sure and I'll show how that is. So there's our pentagram and we're going to draft that and in that point of course we can create our pentagram like so and as we saw in Donald Duck Math Magic Land our old proportions of 1 to 1.618 or 0.618 is found between a point from here and a point like here so I'm just going to draft it for you